Great. How are you doing? I'm doing excellent. I'm gonna, so I'm going to ask you, uh, as a recording artist, as a musician, uh-huh. I'm curious what your take is on the success of, like, say, Rock Band and Guitar Hero and right. all that other stuff. And how do you feel about your music being in these games? I think it's cool. But it, it's funny. Um, Dead was the first song we ever gave to, like, Guitar Hero and... And like we start, and then you know we noticed when we're playing Project Revolution, it was almost like it was a single, because then Dead got this huge spike live, you know, and it was really weird to see. So yeah, it's fun. I mean, it's 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 great. I, I can't see why anybody wouldn't like it. And so, what what's your take on more of your music being in the games? And do you have a, a which one do you prefer? You know, I haven't played much. I, you know, the rest of the guys play play that at time. So I don't I don't necessarily have a real preference yet. Um, I play Guitar Hero on Easy. I've never tried a rock band. I tried it once, and we sang Weezer. I did it. That was awesome. So they're both, you know, they're both fun. Okay, and uh, as far as music out of your band, what's going on? And can you just give us an update? Yeah, right now we're just about to start getting together to, to ma- you know, mesh together what we have. Yeah. And what's I'm just curious about the writing process. Are you the type of person who can write like any time, or do you like a nine to five writer, or is it when inspiration strikes? Uh, it has to be inspiration. If you try to nine to five it and grind it out, it's it's uninspired ultimately. So, you know, you see, you'll get these spurts where you're inspired for like three weeks. You need to capitalize on that as an artist and stick with that. You know. And I was curious, or do you think the new album will be like a concept album, or do you have like a, 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 a thing that you're a feel for it that you're already thinking about? Well, this time I'm trying to not go into it with a concept. So, last time, they all, you know, all the other ones had these ideas before. This time I'm really trying not to. I don't think it's going to be a concept record, for example. And this will be our first record that's not. And I'm curious, do you ever have pressure from the recording company to like deliver by a certain date, or do you feel, or is it sort of on you when you feel that your music is ready? It's always been internal pressure, you know. Any and anything that comes from the label, it's more about um, like um, just schedules that you set up for yourself. You know what I mean? Like, so that'll be the only kind of pressure. They never pressure us to make music or tour on it, you know. And and I'm one final question. You've been around the world, and I'm curious. What's your favorite city for like nightlife, and your favorite city just to go to to visit? Well, I don't get, I don't really partake in nightlife, but my favorite city is Tokyo, hands down. I just, I just hands down, hands down. I mean, it's like I, you know, it's like it's like being in Blade Runner, you know. I, I just interviewed Fallout Boy, and they said the exact same thing. I ran into a couple of those guys in Tokyo once, and yeah. You run into the, yeah, and then we were doing some festival, and we all fell in love with it. You know? Is it sort of like Lost in Translation at the hotel? That movie's pretty accurate, I'd say, you know? Um, just say you, you do feel alienated after a while because you cannot speak the language, but they're such an amazing people. They'll help you through that, but you still will never be able to truly communicate unless you spend a lot of time there, you know? I know you're being dragged away, so I really appreciate it, and good luck with the new album. Thank you very much.